for coming. Um, a quick background, how this all came about was at Montgomery last year, which many of you have gone to, if you have sparring breeds, you know how important it is that this be done at specialties and stuff. And I walked away so disappointed because there were a lot of judges that actually knew better that did not spar, including in our group. And that show, of all shows, it, everybody waits for it, three, four deep around the ring. So I came home, I talked to Peggy, I said, I'm really disgusted <laughs> at the lack of education in our group and judges that, if they're not from a terrier background, they just don't understand it, they don't want to do it. And it's the whole essence of the breeds that spar. You can't make them look as good as they look themselves. So Peggy and I got started on this and with the help of Bobby Green, we came up, I hope, with a presentation that I think you'll all like. We have a great PowerPoint based on Chris Levy's information and we added to it. So we will start with our PowerPoint. Peggy's gonna take it from there, the PowerPoint demonstration seminar. And then after the Q&A, if anybody has questions in here, then we're gonna move out to the ring and we're gonna have actual live demos to show how it's supposed to be done correctly and hopefully everyone will leave with a better understanding and why it's so important to our group. So on that note, um, thank you again and Peggy's gonna take it from here. And if you have any questions during, at any point, just raise your hand, okay? All right, first of all, sparring is not fighting. I'm gonna probably say that several times. It is not <coughs> fighting. It's like linemen on a football team, you know, talking to each other, talking shit, you know. I slept with your mother last night. Or that kind of stuff. It is not fighting, okay. These are some quotes from some of our famous terrier people, Ken McDermott, who I think is one of our finest. A terrier looks best looking at another terrier. And they really do. They just, their neck comes out and they just, they're showing their courage. They're not, you know, they're just it's supposed to be, this is my ground. Sparring them adds highlights to an already beautiful picture for the determination in the eye of the terrier intent upon the other dog who might challenge him for his space cannot be duplicated. Another one by Ken. <coughs> this is from Tom Horner. A dog who stands his ground and shows himself paying due attention to his handler will always beat those who need to have their heads and tails held up by their kneeling handlers, at least under judges who know what terriers are for. I once had a, a dog I was specialing, and the dog saw Bouvier in the ring next to him, came back to the judge, and he just looked at these Bouviers in the next ring. And this judge says, oh no, have him look at me. <laughs> so I did, and then I noticed the guy's tie pin, it was a Doberman. <laughs> so, from the Irish Terrier standard, so this <coughs> amplifies how important it is. It is of the utmost importance that the Irish Terrier show fire and animation. There is a heedless, <coughs> reckless pluck about the Irish Terrier which is characteristic and which, coupled with the headlong dash, blind, blind to all consequences with which he rushes at his adversary, has earned for the breed the proud epithet of Daredevil. And they are quick. And it's interesting even with the, the breeds, the terry breeds that spar, the difference between, say, the Karens and the Westies and the Scotty, or the, the Irish breeds, the Kerry and the uh, Irish Terrier, as opposed to an Airedale. I mean, everything you ever heard about an Irishman's temperament is very true. <laughs> and here's one from the Scottish Terrier standard. He is de a determined and thoughtful dog whose heads up, tails up attitude in the ring should convey both fire and control. And then in bold print in the standard, it says no judge should put to winners or best of breed any Scottish Terrier not showing real Terrier character in the ring. And this pretty much goes for most of the Terriers. And this is from the Wire Fox Terrier standard. And this is my favorite line of, the, of their standard. The terrier should be alert, quick of movement, keen of expression, on the tiptoe of expectation at the slightest provoca provocation. 
Now, these are the breeds that are not sparred. The American Hairless, the American Staffordshire, the Bedlington Border, the Bully Breeds, Chesky, Glen of the Mall, Standard Manchester, Parson Russell, Rat, Skye, Staffordshire Bull Terrier. General rule, anything that has its tail coming off the back, and fighting breeds for obvious reasons, you don't, because they, they are not sparred. The, these are the breeds that can be sparred. Airedales, Australian, Cairn, both Fox Terriers, Irish Kerry, Lakey, Miniature Schnauzer, Scotty, Sealy, Wheaton, Welsh, West Highland White, and it's optional about the Norfolk and Norwich. And you can spar Chihuahuas too. <laughs> <laughs> when not to spar um, sparring breeds. Inexperienced exhibitors, most judges can tell when they're inexperienced. Aggressive or out of control dogs, time constraints, and small entries. Sometimes if you only have a couple, it's not worth sparring. But like Beth said, at the specialties, at those special shows where you have some really nice dogs, it's really nice to do, and we really encourage people to do it. What do you want to accomplish? Dora Lee Wilson said, sparring should be an integral part of judging the correct terrier temperament, as well as proper expression, ear placement, arch of neck, length of back, tail set, and top line. Determining courage without aggression, sparring is an important tool in selecting your placements. All right, when you're, doing, when you're judging, you're going to take charge of the situation, which anybody who's a terrier is not going to have any trouble doing. The judge is the director. You're going to bring two or four dogs, preferably of the same sex, never more than four, into the center of the ring, away from the other entry. And, you're go and I will demonstrate out there. And I have, I'll have them start over here. You start here. You're going to start here. You're going to start over here. And you're going to start over here. Take a step closer. You do not want them to get too close, because these dogs can be quick. You just want them to stop when they start looking at each other. And then the judge moves around the dogs and watches and sees what they want to see. Um, it's great outdoors because you're on the grass, you don't have to worry about it. You want to try to keep them, if you're indoors, on the mat so they're not slipping. Um, like I said, not too close because we don't want them to fight and sometimes they get a little testy, especially the Irish breeds. <laughs> Assure the dogs don't get too close to each other and you evaluate quickly. The dogs may not have much patience. Ask them to move back in line or sometimes you can move them one at a time. Never move them together as a group after you spar them because that doesn't work always. And this is a good quote from April, April Clyde. The judge calls out two dogs to spar in the center of the ring. The handlers lead the dogs toward each other and as they draw close, they make eye contact and freeze in place. Their ears come forward, their bodies tense, and their tails quiver as they stand motionless, assessing each other. A hush falls over the spectators at the sight of these magnificent Airedale Terriers. Cameras click as the fanciers attempt to capture the picture that takes their breath away. Both dogs standing at the ready, demanding to be crowned the king of the Terriers. I tell you, for me, when you see it done properly, it's like looking at a beautiful piece of art. Absolutely. I mean, it really is. I mean, I could stand there all day, but I know I can't. <laughs> Here's some great old pictures. Now, to me, that's a little too close, but obviously, obviously they were going to be okay. No-nos. Don't regate, like I said, do not regate the dogs at, in, as a group. If you have them sparring, I did this at, in Canfield, I did the Airedale specially. I had them spar, and I took the one I thought was going to go first, and I had him go around by himself, then the second one, and then the third one. So they aren't worried about who's behind them after they were just looking. Um, generally, you don't spar dogs and bitches. The only chance you would do that is in the breed ring anyway, um, for best of breed or best of winners. And I always ask if the bitch is in season. For obvious reasons, you would not spar them then. <laughs> and be ready to consider the consequences of sparring a dog you really like, and it fails, and therefore must be out of consideration. Temperament and courage are very crucial attributes to sparring breeds. In the group, don't, breed, don't spar breeds of different sizes. When, if you're doing like the Montgomery County, I take the Airedale, the Cary, 
the Irish Terrier out, let them look at each other, maybe the Wheaton with that. Then what I'll do with the bully breeds is I'll have them all come, you know, the three bully breeds come out, or four bully breeds, and just let them stand on their own, not close to each other, not facing each other, just so they get their moment. And then um, you take the Smooth and the Wire and the Lakey and the Welsh and have those four come out. Like I said, don't ever do more than four. It gets a little too much then. And have fun with it. Anybody have any questions so far? Yes. I, I'd just like to say a couple things. Um, watch out for exhibitors who are using the opportunity to kind of bully or... Get their dogs up. Get their dogs up that haven't been up before because... That's true. Either. There are exhibitors that do that and you need to be firm and make sure, you know, that you protect Just your ring. Be aware, yeah. Be aware, be aware of, of what's going on. Well, on that note, the judge is supposed to be controlling the ring in that situation, right? Correct. The judge is the director. What is the proper etiquette for yourself in the ring with your own dog? Back off, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. 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 But and I think I, that I have no be said because... And I have no problem with somebody saying in my ring, if I hear them, I'm, you know, we can't, our eyes can only be right. in one place. But I usually have eyes in the back of my head as my son can attest. <laughs> All right, special thanks to Bobby, Tammy. Did We do have certificates for after the uh, demo. My son, April Clyde, the other people who uh, had quotes. I would like to add, if in your booklets, the first page after the Schnauzer photo, if you have not read the article by Dora Lee and Judy Hartel, please read it, because that summarizes it's everything and we're the caretakers of our breeds we're the caretakers of our sport and it's really important that they're shown to their best advantage and to let their true nature show through remember it's about courage it's not about fighting they're all dogs no, no. Dog she's not she's not seen, right? okay. just line up right there Same thing, I've already examined them. They have their individual, and I'm going to say, ma'am, you want to start right here? Ma'am, I want you to start right here. Ma'am, right over here. Now, see, I've got a problem because I've got three and there's not a mat, but the floor is pretty good. You don't want them to slip. Take a step forward until we need to stop. That's good, good. And I, as a judge, am going to move around. And I'm going to say, ma'am, we can go right around. Yeah, that's good. Ma'am, we can go right around. Good job, buddy. Girl. Walk. Pretty easy and pretty quick. It doesn't really take up much more time. Thank you. Yes. He was showing his tail yeah, was up. He, he does not have to get in. He was looking. Yeah. Yeah. We'll start looking at the dog. Right. Right. What do we have? What? Uh, All right, let's bring the All right, same thing. I've already examined them. They've all done their individual. Ma'am, would you bring yours right here, please? Ma'am, right over here. Take a couple steps closer. He's already intense. See? There you go. They don't need to be any closer. 
<laughs> and the schnauzers do better than the others. <laughs> and you see the hackles coming up? All right, ma'am, would you take your dog right around? Well done. All right, I see a couple scouts. And line them up right over here, please. All the people with adults are just like puppies, so we're going to spar with the puppies. These are puppies? No, she's not. She's not a puppy. This is a puppy, and the handler's a puppy. <laughs> All right, ma'am, would you bring yours here? Young lady, would you bring yours right here? Now, this is a puppy and adult, so you're not going to expect the puppy to be as tough as... I wouldn't worry about this puppy. Not expect. <laughs> All right, take a couple steps forward. No haze. Okay, stop right there. There we go. There we go. And this is perfectly fine for a baby. She's not acting scared. Her tail's up. She's very interested. She's more interested in the cameras, I think. All right, okay. she's young lady. know your breeds, you know that these guys can be tough and quick, so you're going to really start them at a distance. Ma'am, right over here. A couple ah. steps forward, let them look at each other, not too close. Great. Look at, he's already on. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. Now, if I had really made my decision and I wanted to do something else, I would say, okay, both of you back right over here. And I might gate them individually again before I take them around. And then you can take them around. So if I like you took this one over and back, and then I took this one over and back, then you could, if they'd forgotten about it, they could go around together. Thank you. Any questions? Looks like we have a couple Irish. I have two baby walks. Two lengthies, you can do it. I have one handler. How about let's have the Welsh first? Oh, let's do the Welsh, okay. Right over here? You don't laugh at my dog. Just line up here. We're judging sparring, not trimming today. <laughs> Start right here, please. Ma'am, would you start right over here? Walk them in a little bit, not too close. Not too close. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. All right, ma'am, would you take yours around? Ma'am, would you take your time? Good job. Thank you very much. Any questions? It's pretty basic. Also, line up right over here. Come right over here. Ma'am, right over here. Walk them in towards each other, not too close.
slowly and then stop. Not too close. Look at, they're already looking. Perfect. Stop. Right there. Stop. And when they're this far apart, the judge can walk in between. And you can go right over here. And that's fine. I'm not worried. She's not uh, afraid or anything. Tails up. Just leave this Airedale here. Or you, you want to put this, go on the Westie? So we're gonna, now we're going to bring one of each in. <laughs> One of each breed in. Oh, okay. This is good for you. Yeah. <laughs> One of everything. Yeah, just everybody come in together. Okay, go ahead. I want to show like this is a group. And the Karen, is there a Schnauzer? We don't have any Karens anymore. Do Oh, can we have a Karen? Can we have one Karen, please? Karen, Karen? <laughs> oh, that'd be a cool race. I got a whole truckload if somebody wants to go first. That's pretty good. All right. Let me see the Airedale and the carry, please. Together, start at a distance, and we can step close. Not too close. You just not got smart now. You didn't like the Irish as much. But she was making it fun. Let me see the lakey, the Welsh, and the schnauzer, please. Start over here and over here and over here. Man, right over here. Yep. Take a couple steps. No, you're going to stay here. All right. You get over here. Okay. Take a couple steps in. Thank you, everyone. 